Let's drink some whiskey. Hey, welcome back, Whiskey Questers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Antonio. In this channel, I like to review whiskeys from all over the world. I like to add a touch of water to each one of them just to see if it changes. You'll never know unless you try it. If that's something you guys like to watch, go ahead and hit that subscribe button with the bell notification so you can stick around for more videos just like this. Let's move on with this review. Today we have another whiskey sample provided by the... I'm gonna let him take this one. Today's video was provided by Whiskey Man from the Whiskey Dude YouTube channel. Go check him out. Alright, you heard the man. If you don't go, I will blast your ass. Yeah! Go ahead and check him out, the link will be right here. He hooked me up with Nika Golden Gold. This is a Japanese blended whiskey bottled at 43% ABV. That's 86 proof. Now he bought this in a duty-free shop in Japan. I'm not sure if it's discontinued, but he did pay $60 for this. What I do know is that the secondary market has taken advantage of this whiskey here. For starters, if you want to get this, and if it's still available, you can only get this in Japan like he did. And the bottle, in case you don't know, looks pretty much like this. It's a pretty good samurai looking kind of armor thing i think it's pretty cool but without it it's just a regular old bottle that looks like that <laughs> so it's up to you guys if you want to purchase something like this that i think for the most part is considered a budget whiskey in, in J the japanese market so let's get into the nosing and tasting of this and see if it's worth a trip to japan so again, if you wanted to purchase this bottle, the secondary market is your best bet. I've seen it on eBay for around $250 and like $90 for an empty bottle. So is the whiskey really worth that much of a money? Now again, this is a blended whiskey and it consists of a mix of pot still whiskey and coffee still whiskey. So this is not gonna taste like coffee if that's what you're expecting. Coffee still whiskey is pretty much a column still where it's just a continuous flow of whiskey going you know non-stop where a pot still whiskey has to be done in batches just to clear that up actually another whiskey that reminds me of being made this way would be like the Jameson Irish whiskey which I don't have here where the hell is it oh it's over there so let's move on to the color and then onto the nose and then the taste we'll add a drop of water go through the nose and taste again and then I'll give you guys my final thoughts on this whiskey so this color right here, I'm not sure if they can add color. I'm pretty, maybe they do, but this is, you know, a regular, you know, light yellow golden kind of color. Nothing too special, but let's see what we get on the nose. Very subtle and sweet on the nose. I do get a little bit of an alcohol forward note on this, but it's not too heavy. It's just, you know, it does stick out. But you know, with that alcohol, and the sweetness that's in there, it just kind of reminds me of like a like a perfume. I do get light fruit notes, like maybe green apple, green pear, a little bit of like a menthol in there too. But the more I smell it, I do get a little bit more of that alcohol coming out. So let's see if that changes as I drink this. So let's move on to the tasting and see what we get. Cheers. Very light on the palate at first. Lots of spiciness going on in here, like black pepper. A little bit silky, kind of buttery, with some butterscotch kind of notes in there. It is a little grainy. You can tell tell it's not all high, you know, percentage of malt in here, like malted barley. But I do get those fruit notes, that pear and that apple, just mixed in with that spicy note. Barrel influence is very minimal. I don't taste a lot of barrel, but it is in there. And then the finish is pretty short. Doesn't last too long, but it does finish with that spiciness and then the fruit notes at the very end. But that's about it. Nothing too too crazy about it, but nonetheless, it's uh, not a bad whiskey at all. Let's add a drop of water and see what happens. My predictions are that it's gonna increase the spiciness on this one. So let's see what happens. See you guys in a bit. All right, let's jump back into the review with a little bit of water added to it. Let's see what we get on the nose. All right, that alcohol forward note that I was getting is pretty much gone to the back of the of the line there. So 
I'm getting some honey this time and that apple and and pear notes are still there but that's pretty much it guys so let's move on to the palette and see what happens cheers just as I thought that spiciness really punches you this time I did get a multi chocolatey kind of note right after that that spiciness I mean the spiciness is still going on it's right here in my throat it's all over my mouth to me that's a plus I love those spicy notes the pear and the apple kind of takes a back seat also because of that chocolate note that came out but the finish is still short and honestly in the finish there's not much going on so I think the first initial sip with some water was the highlight of the uh, of this process here so my final thoughts on this Japanese blended whiskey here first of all I want to say thanks Matt without you I don't think I would have ever tasted this right here I definitely would not pay $250 now even though it's not like a wow me kind of whiskey it's something that you can only get in Japan and I mean come on seriously how many times can you go to Japan unless you're married to a Japanese woman right Matt so if you go to Japan and this is still there definitely pick it up especially for the price over there do not pay secondary market prices now again this is a budget whiskey but maybe I'm just a sucker for you know the armor and the gimmicky things in there but I am a collector guys but if you're not a collector and and you're looking for a whiskey that's gonna wow you then then don't pick this up don't even bother looking for this this is more something like I've mentioned already like just collecting and cool to have it and it's part of an experience which would have been traveling outside the US into Japan and picking this up so there you have it guys that's my review on the Nika golden gold Japanese whiskey I hope you guys enjoyed it and found this information useful and if you did go ahead and give me a like don't forget to share it with your friends and don't forget to drop me a comment below guys let me know if you guys tried this or if you're willing to pay the secondary market I hope not and again if you're liking what you're seeing and you haven't subscribed yet I suggest you go ahead and hit that subscribe button right there before you leave so you can stick around for more videos just like this sayonara Cheers.